up, Buck? Doug Houdini in the garage, and today I've gotten my hands on the Wild Badger 52cc backpack blower. Ah, let's go in the garage, see how she gets together. We'll come back out in the yard and see how she gets her done. Alrighty, friends, there she is in all her glory. The 52cc Wild Badger backpack blower. I can tell you right away, it is very reminiscent of this little guy, which we did the review on a few weeks ago. Uh, but this is the, what I basically wanted to know is, is it the same motor? And I don't think so. This is not 52 cc. This one is 26 cc. So conceivably two of these in there. For real though, what we're looking at here is why would you buy this thing? For 240 doll hairs off the old Slamazon there. When this Husqvarna, one of the best names in the game, can be had for $110 more. Now the Husqvarna is a 51 cc, so for all intents and purposes, we're we're comparing apples with apples here. Why then would somebody who knows just how beefy this Husky stuff is, I mean this stuff, this and steel, is what you buy, the orange equipment. That extra 100 pesos for the, the Husky or the steel, let's get in this uh, Wild Badger, let's put her together, see if she's got any snot. Uh, when we did the string trimmer, we were blown away with how comparable it was to the Husqvarna. Let's see if this backpack blower, same situation. How quick does she go away? Where are those directions I tossed? We need them for one minute. All right, if we don't at least glance at the literature, then if we have any issues later, we got no. No room to complain. So let's glance at it. What do you say? So this is the same book for the 43cc and the 52. This is the 52. The 43 can be had for uh, about 200 on the nose, which isn't inexpensive. Um, let's see. First step, first page. I don't know. Gotta love Chinese directions, right? I, I don't, I think it's just a picture. That's all we get. <laughs> look at this. They cut off half the words of the pictures. You just, look, look at that. They didn't even bother to move the text. They just put a picture over it and then printed the darn thing. So that's where some of the hundred dollars is, is getting made up in the instructiones. But personally, that's fine. Listen, we're, we're some smart fellers. I'm sure we can figure this out. All right, really all we gotta do is put the blower together. So why don't we get to that? When we did the last one, Wild Badger, you could put together with just the stuff in the kit, the Husqvarna, I needed to employ a bunch of my own tools. Now that's not a big deal, but why bother including tools if it's not gonna be all the tools you need? Seriously, you know, why give me the Allen key at all if I'm also gonna need to pull out a 10 millimeter and some other stuff? Salt the old picture here. They gave us the eight mil we need. No, they didn't. Oh, they gave us the uh, Phillips we need. Here we go. And then I feel like that goes like that. Now, through there, I guess just like that. Oh yeah, so this locks down so that the rest of it can spin. So yep, we're in the right neighborhood. Kind of use the eight mil on this one. I'll recommend if you have real tools, obviously use real tools instead of this stamped steel, but I mean, it gets the job done. Um, let's get our wang nut back in. Not that you really need it, to be honest. It's all indexed zipper down. And now we can start building our schnoozle end. And then let's just go test it. Let's not make this a long video. There's not a lot to say. Either it blows leaves like a like a husky or like it should, or it doesn't. 
a lot of you are going to be wondering why I would bother shilling for wild badger. And the answer is this. This is very simple. Let's cut this tree down real quick before we put any more of this together. I know some of you are mad at me right now for shilling a Chinese product like this, but the long and the short of it is the big brands are abandoning us. Husky, Toro, even Steel, everybody, Ryobi, everybody is jumping ship on gasoline engines. Wild Badger is not. They're coming on the scene saying, hey, we want to build internal combustion two-stroke power equipment. Y'all need some two-stroke power equipment? And the answer is yes. In another five, ten years, Wild Badger may be your only option for new gas-powered power equipment. Husqvarna, Steel, Toro, uh, Echo, Everybody is galloping away from these internal combustion engines. If you want to buy new internal combustion engines, we're going to have to turn to, let's call them unconventional options, and I'm here to find out, is this a viable unconventional option? Let's get her put back together and get out of the yard and see if we can't blow some leaves. While we're here, let's take a look at the air filter situation. This whole setup is very reminiscent of, um, yeah, very reminiscent of a, a steel unit. You got a pre-filter in here, which you love to see on a leaf blower because of all the dust rolling around. And then your actual element is uh, right here. It is a replaceable element. It's actually a pretty nice element. I'll have to go online and see how expensive they are, but uh kind of dig that there's your carburetor it's how your your choke operation works just that red piece of plastic there just put your foot right here makes sense hold it right there oh she wanted to go Maybe she doesn't want to be choked Shoot, okay, here's the thing I don't love. This is the uh, the throttle lock, you know, so if you wanna lock it all the way up. The far end of it is stop, and I just was trying to bring the throttle down and I accidentally shut her off. was rude but in case you're wondering it'll blow over a gopro that's precariously perched on a hill let's go talk some specific cfm and the like all righty friends this little honey of a unit falling in love with her left and right hundred dollars less than the husqvarna Works just as well as the Husqvarna. Longevity is the question, of course. Let's talk about how they compare. All right, it looks like the Husky makes 765 CFM. This 52 cc is coming out at 636 CFM. 100 less for 100 dollars less. More than 100 less. 100. 
30 less. I've owned and used steel backpack blowers, Husqvarna backpack blowers, Red Max. Red Max is the best, but I mean, that's uh, industrial. And I've also owned the Ryobi one. This one feels just like the Ryobi one. Just as good, cleared half my lawn in about five minutes, which it's really the best test I could give it because I know with my handheld Echo, that'll take 20 minutes. And with the big push, little wonder, I can do it in, I can do the whole yard in about a half hour, but it's a nightmare. I'm lugging around this big machine. So this is the guy right here. So the ultimate question we're trying to ask ourselves is should you buy one of these machines? And the answer is yes, it depends. It depends, it depends. You need a backpack blower. First stop, personally, I think should be Facebook Marketplace. See if you can get one of the old steel Red Max Husqvarna's. Even the Ryobi ones aren't bad. Just buy carburetors by the six pack because for whatever reason Ryobi cannot source decent carburetors. Yes, buy this Wild Badger for a, for a multitude of reasons. First of all, it's inexpensive and I do believe the quality is there. Um, and, and even more importantly, they want to sell it to you, which I, uh, sounds so dumb, but I'm personally insulted by all the brands that are just for, trying to force me into going to electric. I will go electric when I'm ready, all right? Just last night, I was arguing with a string trimmer and the whole problem was, um, well, I'll show you, come on. Come on inside, this is why electric's gonna win and then I'll let you go. I hold in my hand the death of the two-stroke engine on the string trimmer uh, and the leaf blower. Anything with a cube carburetor. You wanna know what it is? Ugh, it's a $5 part and we're gonna go all electric over it. It's this guy right here, your metering diaphragm. Every other carburetor on the planet, there's at least some way when it's been sitting for 10 years to just clean it out and get it running. But on these cube carbs, you have to have a good diaphragm or it's just not gonna run. There's no way to get it to run right with a diaphragm that's that crunchy. And this isn't even a real battle. Look, it's cracking. You try to bend it, it just cracks. This isn't even a terrible one. But when you pull your string trimmer out in the spring and you have to buy one of these or a whole new carb, that's gonna make you go electric. And I get that, all right? These things are chasing people out the door fast enough. You don't have to try to coerce me. You don't have to strong arm me into electric. I'll get there when I'm freaking good and ready. Until then, Wild Badger. And hey, Wild Badger, y'all make a chainsaw? I wouldn't mind having all three. All right, folks, leave me a comment down in the squawk boxes. Are you using Wild Badger power equipment uh, or are you still on the orange and the red stuff? That's fine. Uh, how about Ryobi? You've been in the Ryobi game. Are you going electric? Um, personally, electric makes a lot more sense for string trimmers and blowers than anything else in my opinion, but I still would rather have internal combustion. I don't want to dick around with batteries. I want to have all my power all the time. I like the smell of two-stroke exhaust. That third one may be a bigger part than any of the other ones, but it doesn't matter. It's my prerogative, it's my choice, it's my money. And I'm buying Wild Badger. There's a link down in the description if you're interested in picking up this or any of the other Wild Badger products. There's some discounts down there. If you have concerns with the fact that I would shill you a Chinese power equipment company, hit me up, let's talk about it, bud. You know who I am. I don't wanna to have to underline it in this video, but you know how I feel if you've watched this channel. So, if you're confused as to why I'd be doing this and you want to talk about it more, hit me up in the squawk boxes, hit me up in my email, d and e offroad at gmail.com. All right, as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.